Aloha my friends and welcome back to Children's Stories by Ohana. My name is Uncle Amos. Today we travel to Fiji and I share a story about Mary and the lost wallet. On an island called Fiji lived a nine-year-old girl named Mary. She was tough, independent, and she loved exploring the island. She had a lot of friends, but also loved spending time on her own. She was very adventurous and really liked to get out on her own. Mary was that kind of a person. So one day she was on her favorite beach. She was dreaming away. She got to the beach and realized she'd lost her wallet. There wasn't much in it, but it did have money in it and her parents had given her that money for some snacks. She used to grab some snacks when she got hungry. Not only that, but it was her father's wallet and he'd always told her how important it was to him that, and she promised to take good care of this wallet. She couldn't believe that she, this had happened and she had lost the wallet. She ran over to the beach and even started digging in the sand. She knew it would be unlikely for the wallet to have disappeared under the sand. Defeated, she sat down. She knew she had to go home and tell her parents she had lost the wallet. But she needed time to find the courage to go home and tell her parents. A boy of around Mary's age ran up to her. Mary felt startled, but the boy didn't seem to want any harm from her. Excuse me, the boy said. Is this your wallet? He held up the wallet to Mary. Mary jumped up with joy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. How did you know it was mine? Mary yelled out with joy. I saw it fall out of your back pocket many hours ago. So I picked it up and you were gone when I looked back up. So I spent a lot of time looking for you, said the boy. And oh, thank you, Mary said. Okay, the boy said, have a good day. The boy turned around and walked away. He didn't need anything from Mary other than her gratefulness for taking such good care of the wallet. Mary looked at the money for snacks in the wallet and she looked up at the boy who was slowly walking away. Wait, 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 Mary yelled. The boy stopped, turned around. Mary walked up to him. Please take this money, Mary said. This is a thank you from me to you. Oh no, I couldn't take your money, the boy said. I don't need it, Mary insisted. Please take it. The boy slowly took the money from her and looked at how much it was. Wow, thank you so much. He said, I needed this today. My dad just got fired and maybe I can buy him something nice for dinner. Even if it doesn't help much, it'll be something, the boy said. He looked very emotional. Mary watched as the boy walked off into the distance. She knew it felt good to give back, to make someone else happy especially after the boy had been so kind to her. The end. The moral of the story, the big idea of the story is it's always good to do the right thing. And it's always good to be kind to others because you never know how much you can make a difference in someone else's day. Thank you for traveling to Fiji with me. If you would like to learn how to play music from Fiji, 
or any country in the world using my favorite instrument, the ukulele? Click on the links below. And remember my friends, to subscribe to the channel, ping the notification bell and like this video so that you never miss another story from me. Until next time, until I see you again, aloha! <laughs>